Welcome to STEM Lab. Here at Hutchison Elementary in Herndon, students are using science, technology, engineering and math, or STEM, to learn how to think more critically and creatively. The STEM Lab at Hutchison started about three years ago, thanks to a grant from Hutchison's corporate partner, Time Warner Cable. Students visit the STEM Lab, where they can do hands-on science activities. Work in the STEM Lab is an extension of what students are learning in their classroom, and this allows students to delve deeper into science lessons. Giving students that extra time for science was a priority and was built into the school's schedule. The STEM Lab is, it functions as a special class, um, just as art or PE and students rotate through every other week for an hour. Um, and it's in addition to the science that they're already getting in the classroom. So it's extensions and further thinking on how they could apply the science to real world problems. I think the STEM Lab does make us smarter. It makes us smarter because it actually helps us do a little bit more science. When the kids come back into the classroom, STEM Lab helps me because the kids have a better, richer knowledge of what I have taught them so we can have deeper discussions and they can be really creative with their science thinking. Teachers work together to ensure that students get the most out of the lessons, both in the classroom and in the STEM lab. For the STEM lab to work, there has to be lots of collaboration amongst the teachers. The teachers, the classroom teachers work with the STEM lab teacher to make sure that we're all on the same page, that we're teaching the right curriculum, that um, the STEM lab teacher is extending the lessons that we are teaching in the classroom. In addition to hands-on activities to reinforce science concepts, the STEM lab also helps students learn how to work as a team to solve a problem. During STEM lab time, students are broken up into groups to work on a particular lesson. This, according to STEM lab teacher Melinda Markfelder, is an important real-world skill that students will need. So another thing that I do is that I try to promote group work as much as possible. So actually all of my tables are labeled with a different color and every time they come to STEM lab they're switching groups so that they get the opportunity to work on those group skills and we actually focus on them and we talk about what they are, what it means to be in a group because that's also a real world thing for scientists. Scientists usually don't work alone by themselves, it's very rare. They work in groups so we, we talk a lot about that, what does it mean to be a scientist and share your work. Another benefit of the STEM lab is that students can transfer critical thinking skills they use in the lab to other core subjects. STEM lab helps them think more critically, so in math they are able to figure out problems and know that there's more than one solution. In guided reading a lot of times they will have some background knowledge on some of the books that we're reading, which really helps extend our discussions about the books. It helps us with English sometimes. We learn some new words and is we, we just learn a lot of words in science. Giving students extra time to use STEM skills through hands-on lessons not only reinforces science concepts in a fun way, it also allows students to think creatively in all their subjects. I think the coolest part is that you get to build things and work with materials that you don't get to work out with outside of, outside of STEM lab. It's very important for students to learn the science, technology, engineering, and math skills and the creative problem solving because it's something that they're going to take with them not just up until middle school and high school, but they're going to use it for the rest of their lives, hopefully in some STEM career that they find.